In this captivating match, the early minutes showcased a flurry of 50-50 duels as both teams embraced a direct approach, strategically exploiting the gaps that these challenges created. An illustrative moment occurred when Dan Burns' press on Sulla opened up space for Sobaslai, exemplifying the tactical intricacies at play. Newcastle employed a 3-1 press against Liverpool's 3-2 build-up with Alisson as an additional CB, a setup offering Liverpool numerical superiority to navigate the press by identifying free players, such as Matip. Trent's positioning ingeniously expanded space for Matip, effectively countering Newcastle's press. As the game evolved, Newcastle adopted a more marked man-to-man -man press, constructing an effective pressing trap. Liverpool sought to progress by involving Gakpo in between the lines, facilitating ball movement. A noteworthy change in Liverpool's build-up featured Trent's heightened width, drawing Newcastle's press with more force. By dropping Sobosly deeper and shifting Trent to the right back, a larger pocket of space emerged for Gakpo. However, Jolinton's expansive coverage for Newcastle added an interesting dynamic. A stellar run by Trent and nimble combinations with Sulla epitomized Liverpool's strategy. Direct play and capitalizing on transitional moments characterized Liverpool's approach. Employing a 4-1 press with Endo commanding central regions, Liverpool countered Newcastle's 4-2 build-up, deploying Joe Linton between the lines. Liverpool awaited the trigger, often a pass to the flanks, to initiate an aggressive press. Despite Newcastle's numerical advantage during build-up, Liverpool's diligent pressing created instances for turnovers. Isaac's positioning between the lines bolstered Newcastle's progression through central areas. In settled blocks, Liverpool's formation shifted to a 4-1-4-1, focused on curtailing Newcastle's central advances, prompting Newcastle to lean towards wide areas. Newcastle expertly overpowered the underloaded left side, providing space for Gordon to exploit. Dan Burns' fluid role in a back three accommodated Tripper's offensive endeavors. Newcastle sought to exploit space in both wide areas, combining dynamic wing play and central runs. Tripper's forward surges were covered by Tonelli's positioning, enabling Newcastle's well-coordinated attacks. Isaac's movements between the lines and adherence to shape showcased his pivotal role. However, Liverpool's 4-1-4-1 limited Bruno's influence in Newcastle's build-up, while Diaz tracked Tripper's runs, adapting the formation. Despite Liverpool's compact defense, a lapse by Sulla and Trent resulted in a goal against them. Once again, turnovers from direct play defined the match, this time leading to a red card for Van Dijk. Gomez replaced Diaz after the red card, changing the defensive structure to a 4-1-3-1 against Newcastle's 3-1-2-4 or 3-1-6. Newcastle exploited Liverpool's central focus, emphasizing attacks on the wide areas. The sizable distance between the lines initially allowed Newcastle to bypass Liverpool's block. Two defensive midfielders, Endo and Mac Allister, bolstered Liverpool's defensive cohesion. Newcastle's progress relied on baiting Liverpool's press, creating space between the lines and behind. The substitutions, including Nunez, Hoda, and the key removals of Tonelli and Gordon, shaped the latter stages. Nunez's direct style, coupled with Liverpool's counter-attacking potential, proved vital. The climax featured intense 50-50 duels and tired bodies as both sides vied for victory. Liverpool exploited a gap between Burn and Target, and Nunez seized the opportunity, securing the win. Darwin Nunez emerged as Liverpool's match winner, marking the thrilling culmination of this enthralling contest.